Hi YouTubers, it is I Hell Gear. You see the four souls mad out on this table. Poorly adapted because you know fold open tables, but check it out. The expansion pack for binding of Isaac Four Souls. Got it right here. Came in the mail this evening. Take a look at the back of the box. We got I forget what this is. I think that's the uh, evil twin. And then, of course, we have Angel Isaac here on the front. Let me crack open that new box, plastic. And let's take a look at this. Now, some of you all have already known that I was one of the many Kickstarters for the Four Souls game. I played the card game about 10 times. It's kind of hard finding people who are going to want to play this card game, but that's okay. The ones that I do play with. They enjoyed the game. We love it. We are also waiting for Binding of Isaac Repentance, which, from what the Twitter page has said, that they're going to plan on dropping it sometime this winter. Hopefully, Ed, if you do, please drop it on the Switch, too, because, you know, a Switch players, oh my goodness, one of my cards is bent. Ah. One of my cards is bent. Okay. This is a lot of cards. Hopefully, if you hopefully you guys will drop it on the Switch 2 on the same day as Steam. You know, one of the things that has been talked about was um here's our uh, deck of cards here. Super thick. Thick. Look at this. So many cards. Someone actually asked, why not make it as like a downloadable DLC, like an expansion to Afterbirth on the Switch? Alrighty, so the big thing here, holographic cards. And this is the first one. Look at that bend on that. It's just terrible. Look at this. The holographic gimpy. Real nice and shiny. So this expansion pack is going to have holographic cards. This is just one of them. So let's see. Some of these cards we already you already know about if you've played the game. Various pennies. I'm not going to show you guys any of that stuff. I want to show you some of the newer cards. Hmm. Okay. That's nice. Got a little bit of a red lining around the bomb. I think that didn't have the red lining the first time. Yeah. I want to get into some of the newer cards, too. Um, I did an unboxing of the base order, too, that I did, as well as the first expansion. I'll leave a link in the description below to that. Moving along. We're supposed to be getting some new cards, especially some new characters, and, as you saw with the Gimpy, the holographic stuff. Pretty basic stuff here. Okay, here's one of the... Wait, is this one of the new ones? Uh... Perthro and Ansu's, I believe, are still the same. So, check this out. We have Black Room. So it says, roll. One or two, deal one damage to all active monsters. 3 to 4, destroy an item in play and replace it with the top card of the treasure deck. 5 or 6, discard your hand and loot 3. Pretty interesting. We got the tapeworm here. Each time you miss an attack, deal 1 damage to another player. Interesting trinket. So if you take damage from missing, you can deal damage to somebody else. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We got, I don't believe we had the AAA battery the first time around, but it's nice to know that we got this new sweet bit of cards here from the expansion. Uh, oh, we got different pills now. Check out the poker chip, pretty cool, huh? 
First time you would gain sense on your turn roll. One to three, only gain one. Four to six, double how many sense you gain. Nice. Gotta love the left hand. Too bad it doesn't give us chests. All right, so we got some new pills here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got some new ones, so we got a black pill. We got this crazy looking pill. And we're not going to talk about the Dr. Mario mobile game that's that's uh, in the reworks here because this is Isaac time. Too bad this isn't the blank pill. It would have been nice to, for this to be the blank pill. So we have our question mark card. Copy the activated effect of any item in play. I can see some strategies going along with like Spoonbender or Godhead for this one. Library. Here's our get out of jail card. I was about to call this a library card. Other players can't play loot or activate items until items till the end of turn. <laughs> okay, uh, this should say until the end of the turn to, to the guys uh, working the text out on this one. Got the gold key. The active player may attack the monster deck any number of times this... Ooh! Interesting. This is gonna... This is gonna be erratic. Because let's, let's think about this for a moment. And we're gonna talk about the gold key here. Any number... Any number of times this turn. So essentially you can just go to town. Granted you have the health. This... This should have had a limit on it. I'll tell you right now, Ed, if you're watching this. Gold Key should have had a limit. You know, they should have given us, like, three attacks off the top of the deck. But to constantly do it for the whole turn until you die, that's going to be broken. I think Maggie will work, will pimp that out. So let's see some new enemies. We got the Sucker here. Okay. We got Roundy. I hope some of these guys show up in Repentance too. Also, and this is something that some of my fellow gamers were talking about, and if you're watching this, maybe in the next expansion, introduce some of the Repentance enemies in the card game. That would be kind of cool. Especially that one that you showed off named Clog. Clog would be an interesting one. So we got a Flaming Hopper. My goodness, the lighting just does not do this any da any justice here. All right, Globin is not new. Phony's not new. So we're not going to deal with that. They're, those are standard enemies. Tumors. Yeah, I would do that. Uh, Family Guy spoof on the. Wow, you have to deep roll. Five or six to hit this thing. Each time this deals damage, this takes damage and deals one damage to all other players. Ooh! Yeah, use the bomb on that. <laughs> Holy bony! This is the bit, this right. Holy bony! <laughs> yep. This is my new favorite enemy in the game now. Just the name on its own. Holy Bony. <laughs> there are a couple of holographic cards that you can get. It's not always Gimpy. Somebody actually showed off a holographic version of the next card I'm going to show you. Holy Bony. Ah, this is my new favorite enemy. When any player rolls a six, they look at the top three cards of any deck and put them back in any order. Alrighty. Yeah. Someone on Twitter got a holographic version of Holy Mulligan. So, it's nice to actually see that your holographic cards will vary. Someone actually got a holographic card of one of the new players, too. 
So we got a cursed tumor. When any player rolls a four, they take a damage. That's crazy. And of course, let's let's turn the music back on. There we go. Curse Globin. Beautiful. When any player rolls a three, all active monsters heal two hearts. Now my question on this is, actually no, I think I answered this question. See, if, if this is the attack, if this is being attacked and someone rolls a three, you take damage, but do the other monsters just gain two health? Let, let, let's, let's, Ed, here's, that's a good question for Ed. If the other active monsters haven't taken damage, and someone rolls a three while Curse Globin is out, do they get two extra life? Anybody who knows card rulings on this one, Ed, Tyler, Danielle, anybody, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> really excited here. We got a swarmer. Okay, when this dies, expand the number of active monsters by two. So essentially, this is like um, X, the XXL floor in monster form. Brains. Got a nerve ending here. Hmm. Strain every nerve to force your way in through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Luke 1324. That's one cool thing about these cards. Some of them actually have, wait, you can get a soul from that? Some of them actually have like scriptures of the Bible, which that is intended, folks. So check this out. Holy chest. So, we roll one to two, prevent, prevent the next two damage done to you this turn. You may attack an additional time. Okay, so it's two soul hearts and an extra attack for the one and two. Three to five, gain seven cents. Six, this becomes a soul and gain it. All right. Rolling a one or a two, while you're fighting the lamb with this thing out can actually keep you alive. Spike chest. Ah, roll. One and two, take damage. Three to four, take damage and loot one. Five to six, take damage and gain treasure. So you're going to get hurt off of this one. We've seen troll bombs, we don't need to see that. Head trauma. Discard two loot. Not bad. We had devil, we've had devil deals, well check it out. We've got angel room. Roll. Get a one, two treasure. Three, two, two or three gain two, wait. Wow, so you want to actually low roll to get this? This is and this is not a typo, folks. It says if you roll a one, you get two treasure. But two to three, you get one treasure. Four to six, you loot two. So you really wanna you really wanna crap out on this one. Alrighty. Boss rush. Reveal cards off the top of the monster deck till you reveal two boss monster cards. Put them into active piles and the rest in discard. You must attack one of those cards this turn. Okay, so essentially boss monsters are like the ones that give you souls, in case anybody was wondering. So for example, if you, we'll just hold this out. Say you pull this out and you reveal Famine and Mom, right? 
feminine mom would go into the, the monster zones. The rest go to the discard. And then you have to choose between feminine mom to attack. That's essentially how that one works. All right, we got some, oh my goodness, we have curses. We've got new curses. Curse of Impulse. We already know we give this to players. At the end of your turn, deactivate all your active items and character cards. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> that's dirty. Then we got Curse of Bloodlust. You must attack on your turn if able. I wonder if this can... This will probably go well with Samson. So we got a Widow. Somebody showed off a holographic version of Dingle. Each time this takes damage from an active player roll. One or two, take damage. Take one damage. Three to four, all players take a damage. Five or six, this takes one damage. So essentially, you roll to do damage. So for example, if you roll a four, this takes one damage, then you roll again. And if you roll a five, this takes extra damage. And remember folks, if Dingle takes, and I'm reading this right off the card, if Dingle takes damage from a five or a six, after you've hit it, you do not roll again. Oh, I was looking for that guy. All right, Blast Assist. When this dies, expand the number of active monsters by two. You may attack the monster deck an additional time. I actually got this right on. This was the monster I was looking forward to seeing. Monstro 2. And I was wondering why this wasn't in the first, in the default set or the first expansion. But it's nice. Each time this deals damage to the attacking player, roll. Okay, so when you get hit, you roll. One to three, deal a damage to the player on your right. Four to six, deal damage to the player on your left. Yeah, that brimstone, man. It's like they said in Repentance, the bloat's gonna fire upward brimstone, too. It's not a spoiler alert. We revealed that. The Fallen. Oh my god, he deals two damage. When this dies, look at the top five cards of the monster deck and put them in any order. Woo! Haha, <laughs> Krampus. Gotta love Krampus. And now, of course, the most hype and the very first boss we found out from the expansion. Isaac! Look at that pose. Too bad the player card Isaac doesn't have seven health. Looking forward to um, seeing Blue Baby as the monster card in the next set. I really am. Each time this takes damage from an attack, deal one damage to a player of your choosing. That's that angel protection right there. Headless horsemen. Gotta love that. And now the most broken card in the game. Mom's heart. Look at what, read, listen to this folks if you're away from the screen. When a player gains this soul card, End the game. Okay, now the Bible does kill this, right? Let let the Bible does kill mom's heart. That that's the question. Does the the Bible kills mom's heart, right? Just like it does in the game. Let me know in the comment section below if that's true. Or Ed, if you're watching and somebody asks about that, let me know if if mom if the Bible kills mom's heart too. Because I know it kills mom. But does it kill Bomb's heart in the card game too, just like it would in the actual game? Moving on, choose a player with the most souls or tied 
for the most and they are the winner okay so this is the way this essentially is this card is the youtuber games done quickly <laughs> that's what this card is it's the youtuber games done quickly so here's a funny thought how this card can be broken say it's the start of the game and this is one of the first active monsters whoever kills this not only gains the two souls but you choose a player with the most souls since this is the only monster killed and you are the one who got the most souls the game's automatically over i know tira grace is gonna have a field day when he fights this with the boys <laughs> All right, got some more new items here. I think this is new. Polyphemus. Uh, the Wiz? Is the Wiz new? I'll show it off anyway. Look at that. All monsters you attack gain plus one dice roll. Each time you deal damage to a monster with an attack roll, also deal damage to another active monster or player. Okay, that can come in handy. Let me see, we got euthanasia here. Each time you roll the same number twice in a row while attacking, kill the monster you're attacking. That's actually really good. We got keeper's head. Each time you deal damage, gain a penny. Each time you kill a monster or player, gain two pennies. Let me go back to the curses really quick, because that might combo off of something. Where are the curses? Uh, I think the curse of greed from the first one could combo off of that pretty well. Speaking of curses, you got the cursed eye. Looks really cool. Each time you roll a 6 while attacking, gain plus 3 damage for that attack. If you roll a 1, cancel the attack and end your turn. Woo! Craps, man. Mom's eyeshadow. Pretty cool. Got some lard. 2 health, and each time you take damage, discard a loot. Alright. I love how they have the, this stuff, man. It's like taking everything out of the out of the console. PhD. You may add or subtract one from any of your non-attack rolls. Like, for example, with Dingle. So, after you hurt Dingle, and you roll like a four, you could use PhD to add one to it so it damages itself. Good little combo mechanism right there. Telepathy for dummies. I sure hope there was no copyright <laughs> infraction on this card there, Ed. Daddy Long Legs. At the start of your turn, deal damage to a player or a monster of your choosing. This is almost like that one curse where you, at the beginning of the turn, you take damage. Ooh, that curse actually combines well with this. Now we're getting into some of the really cool stuff. We got Libra, which... Okay. Now I got a question. And I believe I answered this, but... Actually, I had this answered, but if this is in play and Godhead is in play, how, do this, how does this work? Because, again, Godhead makes, makes results six, right? But I guess this would make it three instead. I was looking forward to Abaddon, though. Look at that. It's glass cannon all over again, but don't get hit or you're dead. We got Guppy's Eye. 
Can this be an actual item in repentance? That would be nice. Mama Hunt. Your character card doesn't recharge at the start of your turn. When you die, before penalties, give this card to another player. See, now I'm looking forward to Mama Gertie. We got the hourglass here. Game breaking bug. Looks just like the video game. Everybody likes the GB. All right. Let's skip ahead here, actually. Look at this. We got quad shots, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha. The next time a player would roll a dice, they instead roll four. You choose one result as the result of your roll. So that's how quad shot works in card form, you guys. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's let's look at this one. Cause this was a community re remix item in the game. Divorce papers. <laughs> Gotta love that. We've got forget me now. And we've got a thing. Very nice. I, I shouldn't even have to tell you about Krampus's hand. Alrighty, looks like we're on character cards now. So check it out. We've got Guppy. Okay, my question is this. Does the Guppy character count as a Guppy item? Just, yeah, Ed, Ed we're gonna need a clarification on that one, dude. Does the Guppy character count as a Guppy item? Because if, if that's the case, if Guppy gets one of his items, would he automatically get the Guppy soul? Let me know in the comment section below. Or, or Yeah, let me know in the comment section below. We got Bumbo. Is he flipping somebody off while holding the coin? Ha <laughs> ha! He's flipping someone off while holding the penny. Bumbo wants coin. <laughs> Eve's starting item from the game is now a character. And Gimpy is hers. <laughs> nice. We got Dark Judas here. My goodness, I would have liked to have this as a holographic card, though. And then, of course, we have Infestation for Guppy, Bag of Trash for Bumbo. A regular Gimpy. And then the Dark Arts. I wonder now that we have all these new cards, how many cards should be in each of the decks? Monster, Loot, and Treasure. If anybody knows, tell me in the comments section below. I'm looking forward to using these extra cards in the expansion of Four Souls the next time I play. It's going to be a great thing I need to do. Got that holographic Gimpy. I think I'll put that one up. So, thank you guys so much for this sweet, sweet unboxing and look at the expansion to Binding of Isaac for Souls. If you enjoyed yourself, remember to show your love and hit the like button. And as always, thank you for every like and favorite, comment and share and subscribe to the channel. I'm looking forward to playing with these new cards. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.